Uh, hello everyone. Uh, so welcome to this uh, lecture number four for week eight on the course on linear systems theory. Uh, so this will be a little little short lecture where we will just uh, list down the results for uh, observability related concepts, uh, essentially to do with the uh, observable decomposition and and so on. Uh, very analogously to what we saw in the uh, controllable decomposition. Uh, we defined a weaker notion of uh, controllability called stabilizability and then we derived results based on uh, the, the, the uh, requirement that uh, I can stabilize the system if and only if the uncontrollable part of the system is, uh, is a stable uh, matrix or it is a stable part. So, uh, essentially we could decompose the system into its controllable and the uncontrollable part and much of the design was related to the condition that if and only if the uncontrollable part is stable, I can do some kind of uh, eigenvalue assignment and and, 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 and so on with uh, stabilizable systems. So, we will do something very equivalent with the, uh, with the concept of uh, observability. We start as usual with uh, an LTI system could be uh, uh, in continuous in time or, or, or discrete in time and which via a certain transformation T takes uh, my matrix A to some equivalent uh, A, A bar. So, and similarly with uh, B and C being transformed to B bar and C bar via this uh, transformation uh, C. So, <coughs> so, the result which is uh, again easy to derive is the following that the pair A C is observable if and only if the pair A bar C bar where A bar and C bar come as a result of this transformation T and so sorry the pair A bar C bar which result as uh, which, which, which come as a result of the transformation T is also observable. So, that is like uh, like easy to check right say assume that uh, this A C is observable and it has a certain uh, certain uh, observability matrix C bar A bar the observability matrix of this can be written simply as the okay let me call this O uh, at O times T. Now, if O is full rank uh, then definitely O bar is also uh, full rank because T I know is uh, is, is a full rank uh, full rank matrix. So, uh, this is like easy to check. So, where we also had uh, the similar result on controllability where a B was controllable if and only if this pair A bar B bar was uh, controllable, right. So, so again the, the proof is, uh, is pretty pretty uh, straightforward. Okay, so, <coughs> so for L, every uh, LTI system, so again we will uh, ask ourselves, so the system is observable when the rank of this observability matrix is n. Okay. So, uh, what if the rank is less than n? Right? So, that is what we will answer now. So, uh, for every LTI system there exists a similarity transformation that takes the system into, into a form which looks like this. This is my new A bar via a certain transformation T. Uh, B is decomposed into two parts B O and B U which is again the result of this transformation and C looks uh, something like this. Okay. So, whenever I have a, a transformation like this where the rank of C sorry rank of this O is now Q which is uh, less than N. So, under such uh, conditions uh, the unobservable space now is of dimension uh, N minus Q times N minus Q this is my observable space. So, what I have uh, done is uh, via this transformation which uh, which comes as a result of uh, of, of this O, uh, I could decompose my system into the uh, observable part here and the uh, unobservable part. Okay, in such a way now that the the pair A C, sorry A A naught C naught is observable. Okay. So, so the A matrix decomposes this way, B decomposes into its own uh, observable and observable components. Uh, okay, this structure is not important, but what is important here is that the outputs now can be uh, very easily decomposed 
So, I have a, so C, C not here and, 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 and a 0 here. You can also write down the dual version of this and check uh, how uh, uh, the, the controllability properties of the dual system uh, or the controllable decomposition of the dual system translates to the uh, observable decomposition of uh, the uh, original system. Okay, so, I, I leave that as a, as a very, uh, very small, small exercise. Okay, so, what we know now is uh, the decomposition into the observable and unobservable space and that uh, the, uh, the uh, observable pair is A naught, uh, C naught. Okay, so, uh, this can uh, again just uh, 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 come as a result of, uh, of, of, of a certain transformation where I can uh, divide my states into the observable part and the unobservable part with a, with a state space model which uh, looks like this. Right? I am just writing down these equations, plugging them into the appropriate x, uh, u, y matrices and, and so on. Okay, so, the, the discrete time version is also, is also very similar. Okay, now, since we know that uh, the system is not uh, completely observable, can we define a weaker notion of observability? Right? I only know that uh, certain states are observable. So, uh, maybe q states are observable and the remaining n minus q are not. So, can I, can I define some, some weaker notion of controllability and in that definition, what are the things that I need to be uh, careful of? Okay, so, uh, the definition goes uh, something like this, that the pair A comma C is detectable if it is algebraically equivalent to a system in the standard form with n equal to q. Right? So, when, when n equal to q, uh, it would mean that the, the system is completely observable, right? which means uh, this guy does not exist anymore. And, and then the unobservable space is just, uh, just, just 0. Okay, so, and okay, what if, uh, if AU does not exist, it is an easy case, right? it is just a standard observability case. What if there is AU, what, is, uh, what if N is not equal to Q, then the requirement is that AU is a stability matrix, this one. Now, this one must be a stability matrix. So, uh, what does it mean here is, so I have x o and x u. Okay? Now, these are the observable states, so I can, I can construct them. Uh, these are the unobservable states. So, if I, if I uh, look at the second equation, I can write this as x 2 dot is a 2 1 x o, x u a u and, and so on. Right? So, uh, the, the expression uh, becomes uh, something like this. Right? Now, what do I know is, uh, I know I can construct x naught, right? So, and I can write down the solution for, for, for the, the observable uh, component. So, uh, it, it turns out that I can write, so, uh, or, or I can also equivalently, uh, because x, x naught is, is observable, I can look at this entire, uh, entirely as some uh, kind of input to the system. This, this, this can be determined, this is, is already known from the structure of the system, u is known, b is known. I just want to see what, what happens with this a u x u which is uh, unobservable. Right? So, I can write down the solution now uh, in, in terms of, uh, 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 so okay, so something missing here, this is, this will be x u at uh, t naught. Okay, so, uh, taking this as the input, my x u takes, uh, takes this form. Right? Now, what do I know is that a naught C naught is observable, okay, which means that I can reconstruct is uh, okay that this x naught can be reconstructed. from the definition of, uh, of observability, right, reconstructed from the uh, input output pair. Okay. And therefore, uh, I, can, I can kind of construct this entire term within the, within the integral, because everything is, is known. Now, for detectable systems, so when the system is detectable, we will look at what happens to this term. This term e power a u t minus t naught x u t naught. What is it for this detectable systems? That a u is a stability matrix. So, when a u is a stability matrix, this term eventually converges to 0, right? this is for detectable systems. Okay. 
okay. and therefore, one can guess x u t naught up to an error which converges exponentially fast. Okay. So, what, what, what this means? Uh, okay, if I look at the, the, uh, the opposite case where A u is not a stability matrix, so this guy will, will, uh, will, will blow up to infinity right? and therefore, this is some kind of instability uh, within the system which is undesirable. Okay. So, so, the conclusion here also is that if the system is uh, not completely observable, uh, there is some hope of doing some design with the system uh, if and only if the unobservable part is, uh, is stable right? and this is a little, little illustration uh, for that. Right. Okay. So, uh, the rest of the proofs are, are exactly uh, the same as they look for the controllable decomposition case. So, the system uh, is detectable if and only if every eigenvector of A corresponding to an eigenvalue with a positive or real uh, part is not in the kernel of C. And similarly, for the, uh, for the detectable uh, case of a discrete time systems. You can do these proofs uh, from scratch or you can also write down the dual system and just con compare with the uh, controllable uh, properties of the of, of, uh, of the controllable decomposition. So, here if uh, the rank of O is Q in the dual system, the rank of C, uh, the controllable matrix of the dual system which we I think denoted by a bar uh, will be Q. Right? So, here the unobservable modes will show up here as the uncontrollable modes. Okay, and 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 so on. Right? So I think that that duality is kind of a very 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 useful useful concept here. So I can just rewrite every result uh, in in terms of duality and then verify this, or or in I can also do it um, from 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 scratch, right? Okay, then the, we have a similar uh, version of the of the PBH test for detectability. Again, it looks uh, it looks very, uh, exactly like, like very similar to what happened in the uh, controllable case or the controllable decomposition or the stabilizability case. Um, so, the last result here which again I will just, I'll just state it again the proofs are, are, are kind of uh, pretty, pretty easy to work out once you know the proofs for the controllability uh, decomposition or the stabilizability case. So, uh, the continuous time LTI system is detectable if and only if there is a positive definite solution to the matrix uh, inequality which looks like this for the continuous time and which looks in this way for the discrete times. Okay. So, uh, just a little uh, note on this thing. So, these uh, kind of inequalities are usually called uh, linear matrix inequalities. Okay. So, I am just giving you conditions on whether or not the system is detectable or stabilizable or controllable and so on. Uh, but I am not really telling you how to solve this at the moment. right? So, uh, towards the end of the course on week 12, we will spend uh, a lot of time looking at computational aspects of, uh, of these kind of, uh, of uh, inequalities, uh, which are also called as linear matrix inequalities. So, we will spend a lot of time there just to look at uh, all these inequalities which we see in terms of uh, Lyapunov uh, stability uh, A transpose P plus P A being less than equal to 0 or sorry less than 0 and, and so on. So, we will spend some time actually finding out uh, ways to solve uh, this equation. So, I will also maybe introduce to you to some uh, MATLAB packages which actually solve uh, these kind of uh, equations. So, if you are if you are confused oh, what do I do with these equations just hold on I will give you some very easy methods to, to check uh, numerically how this uh, how this works. So, if I, am if I give you a say a 10 cross 10 system. Uh, it might be very difficult to check with hand, but there are some really beautiful, elegant uh, MATLAB packages which you can use, and I will I will uh, eventually introduce you uh, to those. So, so to conclude uh, this this week, so we uh, did a, a bunch of uh, uh, proved a bunch of results, uh, starting with definitions of observability and detectability, very similar to what we had for the uh, controllable case. Uh, 
from the next lecture we will start slowly building up on, on design uh, concepts. A bit of introduction was given to design when I was talking about placing the eigenvalues uh, at certain locations less than mu that, that was somewhere in, uh, in, in, in the previous lecture, previous weeks uh, lectures. So, we will do uh, all those procedures a little more uh, constructive way, right? so which will be called as, uh, as pole placements. So, that is uh, coming up uh, starting uh, next week. Thanks for listening.